Hello everybody. How are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of developing your English speaking fluency and your communication skills. Well today in today's video I'm going to tell you something absolutely amazing with a demo. Yes. This lesson is actually a requested one. I have recently uploaded a video a video lesson on a powerful 15 minutes speaking exercise. And today I am going to tell you about that technique with a demo. So basically you know the technique. Technique has been described already in details. So if you want to know more about the technique, you should go back visit this particular video today's lesson is going to be a detailed demo lesson of the same technique so that you can understand how to take up this particular technique and how to use it to its full potential so stay here with me in this lesson because this is going to be absolutely important for you are you ready for this i'm shivangi gupta your self certified english language tutor and communication coach and before beginning please subscribe the channel so that you do not miss out on any lesson that i post for you on the channel also like the video and please share it with your friends too coming back to today's lesson that is the powerful speaking technique the 15 minutes powerful speaking technique what is that particular technique well we already know the technique is read and speak read and speak that is the technique now this technique has certain rules to it it's not as simple as reading and just speaking no again i've told you all the rules that you want to know about all the rules the points the instructions that i have given for you in order to develop your fluency focus is on speaking focus is on speaking remember in this technique we are using reading as a part of this technique but the focus is on speaking on developing the speaking fluency and how to do that for that you have to carefully watch the technique video once again in order to know what are the do's and what are the don'ts okay so that you're clear about that so go back watch the video if you want after this demo lesson you can do that or you can go back watch this video and then come back to watch this particular demo lesson whatever you want now read and speak right this 15 minutes powerful speaking technique read and speak now what we are going to do is there are two steps step number 1 is read we are going to read something and today i have taken something that's actually simple in language the 4 hour work week now this is something that i love reading this particular book i've also told you about this book in my book recommendation lesson right it's a non fiction and it has simple language that's why i'm choosing this particular book today i'm not choosing any fiction because i thought let's keep it simple where you will be able to understand everything that i want to tell you through this demo lesson so you will be able to understand the demo lesson completely believe me okay so as i said we have to read so i'm going to randomly open a page in this particular book and we will read i will read it aloud for all of you well do you have to read it aloud or you have to read it silently that's something you have to find out and in order to get the answer to this question again after this demo lesson please go back and check the technique video because it's very important for you to understand whether silent reading is required or read aloud is required because at times read aloud works better but there are certain times where silent reading works better it depends upon the situation and the technique right i am going to read aloud why because here i'm giving you a demo for that demo for the reason i cannot read here silently right so i am going to read aloud whether you have to read aloud or not you need to find out from the technique so are you ready for the demo let's watch the demo once right let me read something for you step number 1 read okay so page number 87 i'm reading from page number 87 by chance you have this book from my book recommendation and you are also reading the same book as me please tune into page number 87 but i would say that do not read right now please listen carefully because listening is very important if you do not listen properly to the demo how are you going to understand how to take up the technique so this is a demo just for you 
Listen carefully to the demo first and then you can take up the technique after the video, right? So let's start with the demo part number one of the technique that is read and I'm going to read now. From this point forward, I'm going to propose that you develop an uncanny ability to be selectively ignorant. Ignorance may be bliss, but it is also practical. It is imperative that you learn to ignore or redirect all information and interruptions that are irrelevant, unimportant or unactionable. Most are all three. The first step is to develop and maintain a low information diet. Just as modern man consumes both too many calories and calories of no nutritional value, information workers eat data both in excess and from the wrong sources. Lifestyle design is based on massive action, that is output. Increased output necessitates decreased input. Most information is time consuming negative, irrelevant to your goals and outside of your influence. I challenge you to look at whatever you read or watch today and tell me that it wasn't at least two of the four. I read the front page headlines through the newspaper machines as I walk to lunch each day and nothing more. In five years, I haven't had a single problem due to this selective ignorance. It gives you Something new to ask the rest of the population in lieu of small talk. Tell me what's new in the world. And if it's that important, you'll hear people talking about it. Using my crypt notes approach to word affairs, I also retain more than someone who loses the forest for the trees in a sea of extraneous details. From an actionable information standpoint, I consume a maximum of one third of one industry magazine and one business magazine per month for a grand total of approximately four hours. That's it for the results oriented reading. I read an hour of fiction prior to bed for relaxation. With this, we come to the end of this particular reading session, right? I'm coming to the end of the reading session. I've taken a small paragraph, a short paragraph for you for demo purpose. There is a set time limit for reading. This stage has a particular time limit and you do not have to cut back on the time. It's okay if you exceed one minute or two minute, but please do not let your time be less than what I have set for you. So you have to complete those particular minutes of reading. It's compulsory because that is why this technique is going to work for you. That's important. So please stick to the time limit. Please do not read less than those minutes. One or two minutes above, that's totally fine. That's not an issue. But please remember that particular minutes of reading, that's important. Okay, I've taken a short paragraph for you for the demo purpose. So now I'm going to move forward with the second stage. Okay, now I've closed my book, right? Here is my book. I've closed it. I'm done with the reading. Done with the reading. I've read the paragraph. I'm going to keep my book away now. Keep it away. You do not have to look back at whatever you have read, right? I'm also not going to look back at whatever I've read. Now you have to speak. Speak about whatever you have read, whatever you can remember in your own words. That's it. That is the thing. So let's move forward to the stage number two. That is speak. Okay. So coming to the stage number two, that is speak. Now let's speak on whatever we have read, right? So in this particular paragraph that I've read from the book for our work week, I read about the selective information intake. Okay. Cultivating a selective information mindset. And where we have to ignore, ignore something that is unimportant. So it's about whatever information you're consuming in this world, what kind of information you're consuming from your surroundings. The thing is that you have to prioritize whatever you are consuming. Prioritize and instead of reading or instead of consuming information for a longer period of time, why not do it in a smart way? Ignore something that is unimportant. Ignore something that will not help us in any way. And then do something that is productive in less amount of time. 
prioritize that information intake. Now, this information intake can help you a lot in your academics or maybe in your work, whatever work field you have approached. So this particular approach, I think, is really helpful for all professionals and for students both. This is a technique that can actually help you in learning something and staying up to date with the important information of the world. For example, the author says that he only reads kind of four hours of business magazine stuff, right? That is result-oriented stuff. Means something that he wants to read in order to obtain certain results in his work or maybe for a student in the field of study, right? So the author is saying that he's only reading four hours of informational study. Yet, he reads one hour of fiction daily, every day before going to bed for relaxation because he loves doing it, right? It's for relaxation. So he's not saying that you have to give up on everything. No, read fiction if it relaxes you. If, it, if you love reading fiction, just like me, the author is like me, isn't it? I always tell you that I love reading fiction. So fiction can be read. Yeah, you can read that if you want to get relaxed. But the thing is that when you're consuming information, think about how much time you're spending in consuming it in the right way. For example, if I take an example of my own, I can say that when we are on social media, we get distracted easily. And that is what the author is also saying, that we have to avoid the distractions. Distractions consume more time rather than intaking of the information. So you have to plan your information intake. Plan it in certain way that you are avoiding all the distractions and rather using that time to do something more productive or maybe something you love. For example, author is using that particular time to read fiction before going to bed because he loves to read fiction and it gives him a particular kind of relaxation. Now, did you see how much I spoke on this particular topic? I can speak more. But the thing is that I have to give you a demo, so I'll stop here. And if you have more things to say about whatever you've read, you can say that. If you have something related to say about it, you can say that. Like, just like I gave you the demo, use this demo, watch it once again in order to understand how to take up this technique in a better way, in order to develop your fluency, your vocabulary, and become a confident English speaker definitely do it. And this is how you're going to take up this particular technique. Once again, I'm going to tell you about the original video. So this is the video in which I'm discussing about this particular technique that is read and speak. 15 minutes powerful exercise. There are rules, limitations, there are time limits that you need to adhere to. So that's why I'm suggesting if you haven't watched the video, please go back, watch this video, particular video too, so that you can understand the demo to its full potential once again. So that's it for today. That was the lesson for you, a demo lesson on this particular powerful speaking technique that I've discussed with all of you. I hope you are going to take up this technique and improve your English speaking. One more thing I want to mention here is that this particular technique actually solves your problem of translation. I know translation is a big problem, Translating, keep on translating something is a big problem. I understand. And translation will not get you anywhere. If you are still focusing on translation, I, I know it can create problems. And how to stop that, how to stop using translation as a way to speak English or maybe form sentences, use English. This particular exercise is going to help you overcome that problem too. Help you in stop translating right and start speaking in english start using english as if it's your language right and it is your language even if it's a second language isn't it your language because you are using it you're speaking it yeah so believe in that so that's it for today that was all now i'm gonna meet you again with a new lesson everybody till then take care keep practicing and bye